and talk a little bit about these pens. I would love to say I know how they're pronounced, Posca maybe, pens. Um, I finally ordered some. I had uh, thought about it for a long time, and while I talk about them, I'm going to create a cactus uh, rock, because I've had a few people ask about cactus rocks. So instead of you hearing me just sit and talk about pens, I just want to kind of show you how they work. So I want to talk about why I think these are actually great pens for beginners. They are a little bit of a financial investment, it seems like. A lot of people talk about they're so expensive and yada yada. The thing is, by the time you buy brushes, paint brushes, and actual paints and things like that, you end up actually spending a decent amount of money. So. First off, the reason I like them is the paint goes on very smooth. You don't have to sit and push, 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 push every time you want to get more paint. I probably won't click this pen a single time during this whole rock tutorial. So right now, we're just working on a little bit of a cactus while I ch chat about these pens, and I'm like massively in love with them. Another good thing about them is they dry fairly quick, so you can go back over with other colors in a decent amount of time. So we're gonna work on the outside, just let the green set just a little bit. Now I bought, and I linked above, to a multi-pack of pens. Mine came with three different size tips, and to be honest, I've used all three of them quite a bit already. You can probably get away with getting maybe one of the two-pack sets, it's just a little bit less expensive. Um, but all of those options are in the same link. So if you click the link that I left above, it's an affiliate link, so I'll get a little bit of a commission if you buy them there, and that will help fund me getting the glitter ones. That's on my wish list to get next. I've got metallics coming on the way, but those come from further away. And I have heard if you do not have Amazon Prime, they can take a long time to get to you because these do come from Japan. But Amazon's got them stocked. I got my set, my big set, in just a couple days, just like most things with the Amazon Prime take. So I'm using the biggest size of pens that came with my pack. There is an even larger size than this available. But as you can see, you get really good coverage. I haven't clicked the pen once, not one single time. I did on my paper to make sure it was flowing. And they really, really flow nice and they give a really good thick coverage to them which is really good for somebody that's just beginning with painting because I'm awful with a paintbrush. Like I, I don't know what it is, I just can't, I get streaks and marks and things like that all over the place. So now I'm coming in with the lighter green and I'm going to fill in some of these white spaces on my cactus. And I think these cactuses turn out really cute. Somebody in the group we have a rock paintings tutorial group had asked about how to do a cactus. So I thought, you know what, this would be a good opportunity to do a cactus and show off these markers because I asked in the group and I believe 95% of the people who had these pens said, just get them, just get them. And as you can see, another great thing about these pens is when you're done with the color, you put the lid on and that's all that it takes to clean them up. You're done. There's no cleanup. There's no rinsing out brushes. There's no cleaning off palettes. There's really no cleanup to them, which I am a mom and I've got little kids. So my daughter, like right now, she's hanging out in the other room, relaxing. And if she needs me, I can just put my cap back on and walk away. I don't have to worry about my paints drying out. So even just in savings like that alone, I will save myself a lot of money because I have rinsed off, dried off paints off my palettes more times than I would even like to admit. Now, see how easily you can kind of even, if I go right over that blue, it covers it completely. So it's easy to touch up your mistakes too. So I'm going to just do like a kind of, I know cactuses are always out in the desert, right? So I'm just going to cover this area with some brown to give us some sand. I'll probably come back in there with a little bit more blue as well. But yes, I couldn't be happier with them. I My only regret is that I waited so long to get them because I have purchased cheaper paint pens in the past 
and you have to you're always clicking them and they don't have a very good fine point to them so this is the smallest one that came with the set that I have and I guess there is an even smaller size if you can see the tip there on that so it's good for going in and doing more detailed work and I'm gonna just come along and do my edge here so you can see how well that, that kind of draws it's nice and dark and thick you don't have to go over it a whole bunch of times I have never had a super steady hand so these are a lifesaver for me I can't draw a straight line with the paintbrush at all so I'm just gonna come along here and obviously if you're doing this at home you can take a little bit more time to it but I don't want you to be stuck on here all day with me a little bit over it's okay I don't mind having a little bit of a rough edge with this black because we're gonna go in and add little you know spikes on here anyways right These cactuses always have their little spikes like so and then you can add flowers I added flowers on this one a little bit too um, I'm not gonna go into all those details why I have you on here live but I did want to share one more thing because I know a lot of people have issues with writing I being one of them I have a really hard time writing with brushes so I did want to share with you this is the medium sized brush there's an even smaller tip than this um, but I just want to show you how easy it is just come in here and do your lettering because it's so smooth and you don't have to stop in the middle and click it comes out so smooth and I didn't even click this one before I got started I don't think I've used this pen since last night so you can easily come in and do your lettering you can also use them to do dots you can do bigger ones by making circles and you can just you know do dab style dots as well as long as you have a steady hand so you can go in here and you can fill fill this in so I hope you know that answers a few of your questions a lot of people I, I see it in rock groups a lot are they worth it and I say definitely because right then and there I finished a whole rock in not very long and I think it looks pretty good um, and I don't have to clean up a mess like right now I can walk away and go do what I need to do and there's no mess left behind so the amount of money you'll save in rinsing off paints is probably worth it the one thing that is maybe negative about these is you can't mix your colors on a palette so you can't sit and make a pinkish purple on a palette and then paint it on your rocks um, you can blend I have seen videos where people do a lot of different colors and take a brush to them with a you know a damp brush and blend the colors so you can do that but you can't mix them on a palette but so far that is literally the only negative that I have with these pens and I have been playing here's some of them I have right around me here that I've been working on so highly suggest them if you do decide to grab them use my link above like I said because then I can put that little bits here and there towards getting those glitter pens and I promise to share those when I get them and I will share the metallics with you when I finally get those ones here so until then have fun painting your rocks if you have any fun rocks you want to share put them in the comments below and we'll see you soon bye